I turn now to the issues of public order and uh, contained within the Bill. There has been much debate about these measures. Uh, some of it has been informed by fact. Other, other forms of the debate, I have to confess, have been informed by misunderstanding. The um, measures that have been developed have been developed in consultation with the National Police Chiefs Council and with the Metropolitan Police in order to improve the police's ability to better manage highly disruptive protests. Such protests have brought parts of London in particular, but elsewhere in the country, to a standstill. There have been instances where ambulances have been obstructed. They have disrupted the distribution of national newspapers. And it, given this is a debate about freedom of expression and freedom of speech, I would have hoped that uh, colleagues would understand why we are so concerned that newspapers should be able to be produced. We have, they have prevented hard-working people from getting to work, and they have drawn thousands of police officers away from the local communities they serve. I will. As the member for the cities of London and Westminster, which sees 500 protests in Westminster every year, would, would my honourable friend agree with me that the human rights for protesters is, is absolutely important, but so is the human rights of local people who live yeah, yeah. yards away from this place? Yeah, yeah. That sums up the balancing exercise that this government is, is drawing on the advice, I have to say, of the Independent Police Inspectorate. Um, the bill does not stop the freedom to demonstrate. It balances that freedom against the rights and liberties of others. These laws that exist at the moment are 35 years old, and we want to update them, but also to implement recommendations made by the Independent Law Commission. It will continue to be the case that the police attach conditions to only a small proportion of protests. And just to put this in context, in a three-month period earlier this year, the National Police Chiefs Council assessed that out of more than 2,500 protests, no more than a dozen had conditions attached to them. Twelve out of 2,500. If I met, because I genuinely do have other things to, uh, to other matters I want to address. In deciding whether to do so, including in respect of the generation of noise, they will continue, as now, to take into consideration protesters' freedom of speech and assembly.